Girl, the goat is back. Yes, honey, that's what I'm talking about, JT. She's speaking out and she's educating these girls and she's uplifting the girls the way she knows how. And I'm loving it, honey, okay? Yeah, we're going to have a whole different set of things popping off. Now, JT is back home from upstate, you know, the big house, right? So, girl, before I go into this... I'm just going to have to let y'all know. Can y'all do me a big favor? Make sure you like this video, share this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Gossip Girl, XOXO. You know you love me. And I love you guys too. I am your host, Miss Gigi. Welcome, Gossip Community. Now let's gossip. So you guys know JT, she just came home and she's already making impacts and she's already spreading awareness and uplifting our girls. Don't we love that? So she has a message. She said, I was locked up with so many women who were in prison because they kept it real with men. And those men did not keep it real with them. Girl! Ain't that a mouthful? They always talking about, oh, I want to keep it real, but they never be honest with the woman they with, okay? I think that keeping a real shit only goes to their homies, other niggas. You get what I mean? But let me continue. I want y'all to know that no matter whatever you do, don't let a man influence you in the moment of love. If he love you, he wouldn't put you in the situations, period. That's what I'm talking about. And it's not called being stupid. It's called being influenced in a state of vulnerability. We talking, we taking these Negroes money and putting ourselves first from here on out. City girls. That's what I'm talking about, honey. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about, JT for vice president, all right? Yeah, girl, that's what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, JT. I'm loving this, I'm loving it. Now, this is what I don't want to happen. I really hope JT don't get around here because she just got out of the big house. But these girls, they speak all this shit because I feel like Cardi B used to speak the same shit too before she got with Offset. You know what I'm saying? They do all this shit when they single, but then when they get a nigga, it's a whole different ball game, you know? <laughs> so I hope she's really keeping it real from, you know, just keep it real, keep it real. So um, I, what do you guys think what she's saying? You know, a man is not going to put you in an unsafe situation if he really loves you. And I agree with that. Just like Tommy on that damn power. Now, y'all watch damn power. Now, y'all know how Tommy did. What's her name? Lala. I don't know the character name because I don't, I don't be focusing on characters name like that. I swear I don't. Listen, I be like Lala and Tommy. But anyway, uh, Lala, you guys know in the movie show Power, you know, she's with this man, Tommy. Now, it is her choice, but if Tommy loved her, he would say, no, nah, you're not going to get in bed with me because I'm... A... But shit, he's a man, and he, he's selfish, and he want everything, right? So shit, I don't know. I don't know. But um, Lala dead now, y'all. <laughs> Spoiler alert, see? In that life, getting caught up in that life. But at the end of the day, I think JT is right. If he really loves her, if you's a big drug dealer and you know you have dangerous situations, if you care about somebody, you're not going to put that person in harm's way. And you know by that person being associated with you, they're going to be in harm's way. But I will have to say this. Lala, she begged for this lifestyle. Lala on that show, she begged to be with Tommy. So what is a man to do if he's in love with you and he love you enough to say, I don't want you to be a part of my lifestyle because it's dangerous. But what if this woman is begging and throwing herself in the lion's den to be with this man? Should this man just say no? I'm not effing with it and just stay strict when he's weak and he's vulnerable and he wants somebody to, or is it the woman's fault at this point when she is, when a man tells you what's up and you're still throwing yourself 
to him. But like uh, JT said, a lot of these men, they lying and they ain't keeping it real with y'all. They ain't, they talk about they so real, but they ain't, okay? They ain't, they ain't gonna tell you when they cheating around, fucking around, looking around, flirting around. They ain't gonna tell you shit. They just ain't. They gonna say they is. And did y'all see? They said a lot of these men get married because they felt peer pressure by the girl or because of the baby and stuff like that. Like they really didn't want to get goddamn married. Okay, they, they not honest with marrying people, you know? They have to want to do it. They have to be passionate about that. It, it, I would you want to, well, I wouldn't want a situation where I have to keep on asking a man and forcing his hand to marry me. Fuck no, because I know this shit, that's how it always going to be. Me always forcing to try to make this shit work. And fuck no, okay? If he can't take the leadership and want me passionately, I don't want it. And I don't want the damn headache either. So comment, let us know what you guys think. JT, I'm with you, boo. Okay? I am with you and I cannot wait to see your growth, to see your transformation, um, you know, and see what you have in store for the girls and see how, you know, you grow. All right? Comment, let us know what you guys think about this and I will see you guys sooner than later. Bye.